Alert, welcome to Hannity, and tonight explosive new evidence in what is becoming the biggest scandal, or at least one of them in American history. Now, it's something we have been saying would be exposed for months, according to new reports tonight from The Hills, John Solomon, and Circa News' Sarah Carter. There are brand new FBI documents that show the Russian nuclear industry officials kick back millions and millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation, all while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State and helped approve the Uranium One deal, which gave Moscow, Russia, Vladimir Putin control of 20 percent of American uranium, the foundational materials for nuclear weapons. And tonight, they're also reporting the FBI now has evidence that Russia for years has been doing this, and they're reporting the FBI has evidence that literally they use bribery to gain control over America's uranium industry, all while the Obama administration did nothing. And the Clintons benefited to to the tune of nearly $145 million. You want a real Russia collusion story? We've got it. Also, is Congress now going to do its job? Will they investigate these explosive reports immediately? Will the special counsel, Robert Mueller, start looking into this Russian plot to control American uranium? And is the left-wing mainstream media, are they going to stop pushing their lies and conspiracy theories to you, the American people? Will they ever tell us the truth? And that's not all we have tonight. The FBI has confirmed that, in fact, the disgraced former director, James Comey, drafted a letter exonerating Honorating Hillary Clinton months before interviewing any key witnesses in the email server scandal. We're going to cover all of this in tonight's breaking news opening monologue. All right, so The Hill's John Solomon, his colleague over there, Allison Spann, are once again out with an explosive new report. Take a look at this headline from today. FBI uncovered Russian bribery plot before Obama administration approved controversial nuclear deal with Moscow. Now, here's the headline from Sarah Carter. Russia nuclear firm under FBI investigation was allowed to purchase U.S. uranium supply. According to these breaking news reports, back in 2009, the FBI, they started gathering evidence including recordings and emails and witnesses that they talked to showing that the Russian nuclear industry officials used bribes, kickbacks, money laundering and other illegal tactics to expand Russia's influence over America's uranium market. Now, in the Hill report, they explain that despite all of the evidence that they had of wrongdoing against Russia, the Obama Justice Department, for some unknown reason, chose not to act and pursue charges. What did they do instead? The Obama administration then went on to approve business deals that benefited Russia, Putin, Moscow greatly, while these threats to our national security were actually going on. These include the 2010, we've talked about it a lot, now we have more details, that Uranium One deal. Hillary Clinton, she signed off on it, she helped approve it. That gave Vladimir Putin control over 20% of America's uranium. Uranium is the foundational material so you can build nuclear weapons. We'll have a lot more on that in just a second. And the 2011 deal, that made it easier for the Russian nuclear subsidiary to sell uranium to U.S. nuclear power plants. Now, the FBI officials told Sarah Carter at Circa News that the Bureau's bribery investigation could have actually been stopped. However, this part is inexcusable. Both reports highlight how the Obama administration kept all of this evidence that they had, they had a Russian bribery secret from Congress and the American people until five years after the approval of that Uranium One deal. And when the DOJ finally did go public, this was 2015, it was only to announce a single charge against the Russian at the center of the bribery scheme, and they played it on the down low. Now keep in mind, after President Trump won in November, President Obama and his administration, they were telling anyone who would listen, Russia, 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 Russia interfered with our election. Russia was creating a direct threat to American democracy. Well, if that's the case, why when they had mountains of evidence that we will reveal tonight of Russian bribery going back to 2009, why then did the Obama administration and Hillary in particular sign off on the sale of 20 percent of America's uranium to Vladimir Putin and the Russians. And speaking of Uranium One, according to the new report from The Hill, the FBI has evidence, including eyewitness accounts, that, quote, Russian nuclear officials routed, pay attention, 
routed millions of dollars to the U.S. designed to benefit former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's charitable foundation during the exact time Secretary of State Hillary Clinton served on a government body that provided a favorable decision to Moscow. Uranium One, sound familiar? And by the way, we can't forget Peter Schweitzer. He originally exposed this Uranium One deal in his best-selling book, Clinton Cash. Now, all of that is why for months, on this program, I have been telling you, Uranium One will be one of the biggest scandals this country has ever seen. Just in case you forgot, let's remind you. Then there's the real Russia collusion story, the Uranium One deal, which I predict will be the biggest news to come out in the next year or two, where the Secretary of State, remember, she approved handing over up to 20% of America's uranium, the foundational material of nuclear weapons to Vladimir Putin and the Russians, all while people involved in the deal in Canada, they kicked back over $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. Bill Clinton doubled his speaking fees in Moscow. Tonight with this new evidence, what we have discovered is the evidence against the Clintons is overwhelming. It is incontrovertible. Hillary Clinton and her husband sold out America to the Russians while millions of dollars flowed to their family foundation. And in the process, Clinton helped create a massive national security risk for every man, woman, and child, giving Vladimir Putin control over American uranium. That material, as I said, you use it to make nuclear warheads. Now, if the liberal ideological mainstream media and the Democrats in this country that have been screaming Russia, Russia, Russia for all these months, if they want real Russia collusion, we've got it for them. The evidence is right here. It doesn't even need to be investigated. Just corroborate it. So it's time tonight, and I'm calling on Congress. I'm calling on Robert Mueller, the special counsel. Stop wasting our time and our money trying to find evidence of Trump, Russia, collusion. You've been on this for a year. So far, you haven't presented one shred of evidence, except now you can actually fa follow facts and evidence that we do have on the record. I'm also calling out the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, tonight. He recused himself from the Russia probe. He needs to now do the same. The evidence now shows that Hillary Clinton, the Obama administration, put this country in danger, handing Russia, America's uranium, even though, as The Hill reported, there were crimes, bribery, and worse, and blackmail being committed. And where was the liberal mainstream media during all of this? The media that's been running wild with all kinds of conspiracy theories about President Trump and Russia for months and months and months with no evidence? Well, here are some of the more unhinged examples of the left. Listen to their language. It applies to them tonight. It applies to the Clintons tonight. It applies to Obama tonight. Watch this. But first, we want to start with this week in Russiagate. It is as if there are no shoes on the Trump human centipede that are not about Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. This cloud about collusion with Russia will hang over him no matter where he stands. It certainly feels like we're in the opening stages of a devastating political chapter in American history. Evidence is mounting for the president's meddling in the Russia probe. Tom Friedman said the election hacking is at the caliber of a Pearl Harbor or a 9-11. Do you agree with that? I completely agree with that. Donald Trump now sits at the threshold of impeachment. I personally think it's over. I don't think there's anything that can be done that can stop this at this point. Cacophony, this gushing of lies, problems, questions, chaos that will stop this presidency in its tracks. You told the Washington Post last week that, quote, there's a smell of treason in the air when it comes to this investigation. A lot of people are afraid to use the T word um, treason, but in the end, that's what people are investigating. It does look like collusion. It does look like he's listening to Putin more than he is American intelligence. And frankly, I've never seen that before. The media has been breathless and hysterical over the Russia coverage, yet have you heard any of them even mention Hillary Clinton colluding with Vladimir Putin on Uranium One? Has the media that's supposed to be trusted ever reported on the millions of dollars that were poured into the Clinton Foundation as a result of this deal? Will the press even now bother to look at John Solomon and Sarah Carter's reporting and do their own digging? And while we're at it, did anyone in the media, aside from this